Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Ring, and today we're going to do a comparison review of the Nike Vomero 17 and the A6 Nimbus 25. So these are both premium neutral daily training shoes that have seen some significant changes over the last couple of years. Vomero, I didn't even know if it was going to come back, and it did with some new Zoomex top layer and some other upper changes. And the same thing, the Nimbus, while there was no doubt it was going to come back, it's a totally different shoe. From being a premium neutral daily trainer to like clearly a maximalist daily training shoe, things have really changed. I think it's worth talking about how these compare and which ones might work better or not work better for you. So in terms of changes, and let's start with specs. So men's uh, size 10, which is what I'm gonna pair because I don't have a size nine for the Vomero 17 and I do have a size 10 for the Nimbus. The Vomero 17 is coming in at 10.5 ounces for men's size 10. 8.5 ounces for women's size eight. The Nimbus is gonna come in at 11 ounces for men's size 10, nine ounces for women's size eight. Stack height wise, 39 in the heel and 29 in the forefoot for the Vermero. And the Nimbus is gonna have a 41 and a half in the heel and 33 and a half in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. And both heel drops feel exactly what they are pretty much are listed at maybe even a little bit lower over in the Nimbus just because of how rocker the right is. The uppers fit not similar. Um, they both have fairly standard fit. So the heel in the Vomero fits a little bit snug. Midfoot fits fairly normal. And the forefoot foots fits normal, but the volume's really low. In the Nimbus, the heel is wider, but then the, again, the, the heel collar cushion kind of offsets that. Midfoot fits fairly normal. And the toe box, while there's enough volume and stretch up there, it fits kind of narrow just because of the toe guard kind of taper stuff. That doesn't, it hasn't bothered me over time. It's just two kind of different fits. Um, and the upper is a, is a little thinner over in the Vermero and much thicker and noticeably thicker over in the Nimbus 25. So that's something you like that might help you gravitate toward one or the other. In terms of rides, the Vomero 17, that Zoom X is noticeable almost immediately. It gives you that top layer of softness and then you hit the Cushlon foam underneath. The heel transition is really smooth. It's got a really, really nice bevel. And the transition to a, a slightly stiffer forefoot that just feels like I said, a little bit long in, one, in my review, but it's fairly standard. It feels like a standard neutral daily training shoe, like a little bit more cushion Pegasus kind of. The Nimbus is totally different. This feels like a rockered maximal shoe. The heel bevel is good. It just has a little posterior flare. So there's kind of an er, a slightly early landing and then just really rolls you along. This is what feels like a maximalist rockered shoe for sure. Cause there's a large rocker. Once you have the forefoot, you just roll right along. So this one feels standard. The Nimbus feels really rolling. So if you like that, great. If you don't like that and you want something more standard, Vimero is going to do a little bit better. I will say to me, the Nimbus feels just a little bit firmer underfoot, except in the heel, but even still the Zoom X gets a little bit more of that softer feel. But when you go into something like stability, that's what kind of helps the Nimbus a little bit better. So stability wise, despite these massive sidewalls in the heel of the Vimero, the Zoom X and the narrower platform makes it a very neutral ride. Not unstable, but it's definitely not a stability shoe. It doesn't have, you know, there's some mild heeled guidance, but it's much more, much more of a neutral shoe. The Nimbus really changes things. The slightly firmer, rel firmer being a relative term because it's very, very cushioned with a ton of stack height, relative, a teeny bit firmer than the, than the Vomero. The wide base, the well-designed, the sidewalls don't look as, uh, don't look super high, but they do a good job. But plus the wide base and a lot of sole flare, this definitely is the more stable option of the two. They are definitely neutral, but the Nimbus wins out in terms of needing just a, if you want a little bit more guidance. Obviously need a lot more stability, go with the Kiano or the GT2000. For the Vomero, if you need stability, I, I guess you could go with the structure if you need more structure. I It's been a while since I've run the structure. And to be honest with you, I don't know. I haven't tested the new one yet. The older one kind of just feels like a firmer, more stable version of this. The Pegasus structure, Vomero, have some serious similarities, but also differentiate in terms of softness. This is obviously lighter than the structure from what I remember. The Nimbus, again, could not be more different than like Keanu or GT2000. They each do things very, very differently, which isn't a bad thing. It's just different ways that different companies are doing things. In terms of training versatility, both these are really meant for easy miles. The weight, especially with the Nimbus, makes things a little bit heavier. The Zoom X, I, I tried picking up the pace a little bit for something slightly up tempo, it's fine. But these are really meant for easy daily miles, recovery runs, and just getting miles in, maybe some good solid long runs, but not anything fast. If you want fast, there's some fa obviously fast shoes coming from each one of these companies.
but these are really meant for easier runs and they both do that very well. How that's executed, as you can tell, is a little bit different, but I hope that helps. And we're gonna have a couple other comparison videos on these because there's a lot of really good premium neutral daily training shoes coming out. And I figure, hey, it's gonna, like the more that come out, kind of a hard decision to make. So hopefully these videos help you decide which one of these might work best for you if these are something that you're interested in.